Hi everyone, my name is Katarina. And actually, before I start, I'd like to show you guys some images. And I want you to think about the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at them. And also think about what those images have in common. Well, the first one is this one. Just take a quick look. This is the second one. Okay, and this is the last one. Well, I'm pretty sure that when you look at those images, everyone thought about the same stuff. For example, in the first one, something related to diabetes, and in the second one, something related to cancer, and in the last one, something related to hypertension. And, well, you're right, but there's actually no right and wrong in this. The important thing here is to think about what those images have in common. And, well, I could think about four main points. The first one is that they are diseases, and yes, that's pretty obvious, I know. Another thing is that they have no cure. There are treatments like chemo and insulin application, but there's no actual cure for them. Um, they have a really high mortality rate. And of course, if they're not treated correctly or not at the right time. And the last thing that I think it's really important is that many people live or have to deal with them in their lifetime. Maybe someone in your family has it or someone in your friend group or someone that you just barely know. And even though this doesn't happen, you just have a really clear idea in your mind of what they are. Well. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm not here to talk about none of these diseases. Actually, I'm here to talk about another one that has all of these four steps. Well, not the last one, because people don't actually talk a lot about it. But, well, what if I told you that this disease that I'm about to talk about kills one woman every 62 minutes? Yes, those are lots and lots of people. And, well, this is literally the most dangerous um, psychiatric disorder in the world. So, yes, if you're still wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about eating disorders. And, yes, I'm pretty sure everyone has already heard about this term or something related to it, but no one actually knows what it is. And, well, we don't know what it is because our society has normalized it. And, yes, I'll explain a little more about it. Well, um, everyone here cares a lot about their appearance and care a lot about others' appearances, too. And that's okay, because we're humans, and that's normal. We judge a lot. And, well, with that, people started to tell us how we needed to look and how we needed to act and that we needed to be prettier, that we needed to be smarter. And in many cases, especially women, that we needed to be skinnier. And that's the, where the problem really begins. Because since, like always, our society has imposed to us a pattern, a standard, precisely a beauty standard. And, well, this standard that they impose to us it says that if we don't follow it, we can't be happy, we can't be liked, and we don't belong in our social group. And they've applied that in every single thing that people consume. For example, look at those fashion shows. I mean, they're totally um, patronized. And those movies with Disney princes, they're all the same. I mean, same bodies, same perfect faces. And, well, look at those magazines. I mean, I don't even need to say anything about them. Um, well, this... This constant representation of this stereotypical and unrealistic beauty only increases the pattern in our, that is imposed to us in our society. And, well, people who don't fit in start to feel bad, start to feel unloved, and, and literally, like, if they don't belong inside, like, their friend group and stuff. So the logic of thing that they do is to try to find ways to fit in to like actions that they do and for example a diet or something like that and well normally those things don't work because the real thing is that we are never going to get to this because this doesn't exist this is impossible and it's unreal so those actions that we have won't work and we will only try harder and harder and make those those actions more aggressive and extreme to achieve our goal that it's unachievable. And that's where the eating disorder begins. And well, for those who don't know, I have anorexia, which is the most common eating disorder in the world. And with that, I can say that this disease is really, really tricky. I mean, everything starts with you thinking that you're in control of everything that's happening in your life, that you want to change this little feature on your body because you want to look more beautiful. And maybe then people can like you more, you can make more friends because, I mean, people approach beautiful people, right? Well. I thought that, and 
that isn't actually the truth. I wasn't in control of nothing and I started to lose weight. I've lost weight and I got really sick of because of it, because of the malnutrition. Um, my hair started to fall and I got really, really bad. And I mean, I know all of, all of this and people who go through this also knows all of this. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys are asking yourselves things like, if you know what is going on with you, why do you just continue doing this? I mean, what is the real problem in gaining a little bit of weight? Why don't you just let it be what it is, what is, it is going to be? I mean, why do you care so much? Why don't you stop? You make those questions. And the answer is, we don't stop because it is a disease. And there, I mean, it's not a behavior that we have. It, we can't normalize this behavior. We need to think about that as we think with a diabetic, for example. You don't tell a diabetic to lower their glucose or a hypertent to lower their pressure. So you can tell an anorexic to eat or to stop doing that. And well, it, this is why it is so important for us to know about this disease and how it happens, how it starts and why it starts maybe, how it is and, and hopefully how to get out of it. And well, I have a few questions to you. I mean, is it really worth it to like live your life with all those insecurities and forgetting actually to live it? I mean, think about this. And um, is it really worth it like um, losing a part of your life that you're never going to get back? Chasing a pattern that is imposed to you by others. Think about that. Really think about it, especially when you're looking to yourself at the mirror and like seeing all those things in you that you think are not beautiful. Think about that, especially at these moments, because I promise you that if you do, when you find the answer, it'll be really, really worth it and you have a really better life. Thank you so much.